Hey y'all, what's going on? Oh my god, I just got back from watching Django Unchained. Amazing. I love Quentin Tarantino. The movie did not disappoint. Extremely graphic, but definitely worth it. Oh my god. I mean, there's a political statement to be said. I'm not the political type, so I'm really not going to say it. Just, um, I know to most of you guys, I just look like some random ass white girl, but, um, I, my family's history is actually, um, half of it is a Jewish background. So we are no stranger to persecution. So I am just thankful to be where I am with who I am that the members of my family who came from Europe and were able to survive the persecution they encountered there came here and that I have what I have. And I think, you know, people on Tumblr especially talk about privilege. Sometimes just things are, are earned. And I think... I don't really know where I'm going with this. Point being, I'm glad to be where I am, who I am, with the people I know. So, let us continue. Yeah, we, um, we don't want that oily bedsheet. Hooray, this one contains a prize. What kind of prize? An uncarved mini tablet. I did not get the uncarved mini tablet. I did not finish exploring. Sad face. Open it! Open it! You got a chisel! How exciting! A parcel for you! Retrieve it! You got a chunk of amber! <laughs> you got a chunk of... Why am I repeating myself? <laughs> Converse. I have renamed myself Crumpet Hat. <laughs> This gentleman is Crumple Hat. I have dishonored my ancestor and to be on comprehension with this frivolous accessory. Blah, blah, blah. He has renamed himself Crumple Hat. He has dishonored his ancestors to be on comprehension with this frivolous accessory. <laughs> A good place to keep lookout. Ah, uh, yes. The, uh, Sprite Log. Seer. Ooh. Hey, in a land of rainbow deliciousness. Seer, can you hear me? Apparently she can, though usually she goes by Rose. Oh, I love the font. Beautiful. Have a look around, Rose. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> wow, it's like eye-bleedingly gorgeous. You have much to discover. She's like, this pleases me. Adventure time. Go over the river and through the woods. Epically. With your orange nail polish. Well then. What is a Gyclops? I recognize the tar basilisks, although I'm looking one in the eyes and I feel uncomfortable. Uh, do basilisks breathe fire? I don't recall any legends about basilisks involving fire breathing. Uh, drop that toilet in Dave's room. <laughs> Where are you taking it? Oh. Oh shit. Jade, do you really need to be on some kind of medication for that narcolepsy? <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Dave is little exclamation. <laughs> I would be so distressed. <laughs> oh shit, his thingy is very bright. 
This is the worst shitting thing I've ever seen. The thing that just happened. Hi, Dave. Jesus, and the worst thing is, all the juice I drank. I mean, you just had to figure all that juice was going to come back to haunt me. Like Frankenstein's incontinent fucking ghost. It was like Chekhov's juice. <laughs> what? Let me be perfectly clear. What I'm trying to say is, it's like fucking Christmas up in my bladder here. Where do I find the toilet? Oh, look, here it is! Amputated in my room! Gagged with a towel like a fucking prison hostage! And now the crux bloater is counting down. Four hours. Oh, I guess that's not that bad. Four hours until what? What? Oh, oh god, are you asleep? <laughs> so he really has to pee. Cutie. I peed before I made my video. Oh, her fingers are still going in her sleep. Um, I... I think I might be. Okay. Okay, let's just not panic here. I'm not panicking, I feel fine. Let's try to play it cool and not break all my shit. Also, don't put anything weird in the seizure kernel. I'm going to find somewhere to pee. Don't watch me, okay? <laughs> like, I know you dream about me enough already. Let's keep some shit left to the imagination, okay? I won't look, okay? Jeez. <laughs> oh, she will. Jade's totally a perv. <laughs> The last thing I need is for your weird brain webcam to be snapping shots of my dong. Your grandpa was a sick fuck. Why would he build a voyeur bot for a little girl? Fuck. Stop being a huge baby and go pee! <laughs> Dave knows about that? <laughs> Use now empty bubble <laughs> juice bottle as a pee receptacle. <laughs> you begin to hatch your brilliant pet. <laughs> hey, John, you want some apple juice? <laughs> Oh my god. I love how the, uh, the crows are, like, checking this shit out. I also love how the crows are copy and pasted. <laughs> I knew it. I called that shit. This is that <laughs> terrifying. Like, I want to put that on my Tumblr just to freak people out on their goddamn dashboard. Once you're done, you'll capture log the bottle and send the code to Egbert and tell him it's something really important. Then he'll make it and be like, oh man, yes, apple juice, I am so thirsty. Ice cold Dave piss. I'm just gonna start calling apple juice Dave piss. But he will not be drinking delicious juice, oh no. He will be choking down a world of hot piss and it will serve him right for liking all those dumbass movies unironically. What is going on, Homestack? But that all sounds like a big waste of time, so you just go in the shower. Like a real man. Peeing in the shower is pretty red. Kick that puppet out that shower. <laughs> is he really texting while he's peeing? <laughs> How is he able to do that with one hand? I can't... Hmm. Oh no! Dave! What? Mm. What is it? Dave, this poor bird. What bird? The one with the sword through it. I wouldn't know anything about that. But isn't this your sword? That could be anyone's sword. What does it look like? Is it a cheap piece of shit? Because I only bother with high-quality blades. Forged by stoic Asian masters. Hells of rude kinds of expensive. All I know is, it's sharp, and it's through a bird, and it's a sword. End of story. I'm going to help the poor bird. Wait, what, what do you mean? T damn it, hold on a minute. Retrieve Dave's copy of Esper and the Impaled Crow. I don't know, the crow is looks like it's pretty fucking dead. Jade, you can tell that the thing is dead. I mean, look up X's in its eyes. Well, I've seen a dead crow before. Like, it just looked like a, a live crow lying on its back, so maybe, I guess, she can't see the X's and they are merely a figment of my imagination. Put something weird in the seizure kernel. Yes, because that is the perfect thing for it. Ah. <laughs> sure. The crows are pretty excited. Hmm. Noticing things in his room that I didn't notice before? 
Guess I wasn't paying attention. Wow, awesome. So now I guess instead of having a wise or helpful spirit guide sprite thing, I'm stuck with this brainless, feathery asshole. What do you mean? I just brought the cute birdie back to life. Isn't he great? We need to wake you up. You're not very logical like this. Kind of dumb, really. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I was tired. Y yeah, but come on. You sleep like 20 hours a day. Well, you are out of luck. I will wake up when I'm good and ready. Wake up? <laughs> oh, jeez. Dave, you're brilliant. Where are you sitting? Are you on your bed? Yes, why? What side? Um, the right side? Why? Okay, here's what I want you to do. Just humor me. Raise your left hand. Okay. Now, just kind of swat the air to your left. <sighs> Robo slap. Huh? <laughs> Jay's like, what happened? Use gunpowder and empty crates to make a campfire. Like, that's not going to fucking explode. Did they just, like, make that food? And the happy little fruits that managed to survive 400 years? Hmm. What is... Is he's talking about squiddles to Newman? Mm. Went over that fine carapace in gray. Hmm. Eh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, little buddy's getting jealous. Oh, <laughs> the love triangle. That's the saddest love triangle. Navi, I'm rooting for you. You are vaguely reminded of something. It's hard to remember. It was so many years ago. So many years ago, entrenched in the temp temporally oblique. Oh. Well, we found the car. What have we here? An illegally parked vehicle. You sure hope this guy's got a swollen pork hollow. He just landed himself in Citation City. That is action replay, isn't it? Surround the scene with caution tape. Where'd you get it? Where would you get caution tape? Hmm. I guess I just won't question it. This looks much more orderly. Public safety has been assured. Your sworn duty as an authority regulator has been upheld. Write the owner of this vehicle a ticket. Parking citation. The fee of 10,000 boondollars. Hello, what do we have here? What have we have here? <laughs> what have we here? Words that I can say. You discover a couple of unauthorized parcels in the cabin of the vehicle. You confiscate them immediately. Oh, darling, I, I don't know, the gray robes are kind of fetching on you. You are a simple parcel mistress on one of your routes. Today is another day of uneventful but highly satisfying deliveries. You soften your tracks. It is a dangerous agent from the enemy kingdom. Perhaps you should avoid him. Okay, so... Are they the same? The ancestors? Because he's from Durst and she's from Prospect. Please deliver this t something or other. But you notice he is holding two parcels. You recognize one of them. You have spent a long time looking for it. It looks like you're going to need to get that package from him somehow. Activate Ghost Gloves! Da -na 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 -na. That is how you do it. Sons of bitches are harder to kill than you thought they'd be. Ah, <laughs> you're getting eaten. Trigger warning, vor. Hmm? 
with, with this. Blam! Hmm. That was helpful. Mm -hmm. ah. The Gyclops absconds with your hammer, which is like a gavel <laughs> to it. Dang, it puts a sense of scale. John is about as big as this thing's foot. It's Grandpa Harley with a copy of Colonel Sassikers. I mean, I knew that was Grandpa Harley's gun, but dang, I didn't expect Grandpa Harley to be behind it. You could have sworn that strange man was holding a copy of Colonel, your copy of Colonel Sassikers. Stargaze. Oh, it's beautiful. I wonder how they wound up on Earth. It is a clear and peaceful night. A delicious meal has been shared with new friends. The glow of the ammunition fire gradually subsides. All is well. But you can't shake the feeling there is something familiar about all this. There is something you are forgetting. Esper? Of course, now you remember. You must deliver a message to John right away. Ah. Women. <laughs> Just got my period, bye. <laughs> Retrieve package. You conclude you have no choice. You will march right up to him and ask politely for the package. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh. Oh, crappy, sorry. John? It is a carved mini tablet. The carving is not especially clear, to say the least. But your wealth of delivery experience allows you to decipher it immediately. It is the other parcel the agent is holding. It appears you will need to acquire both from him now. It is your sworn du duty. So, John asks for it. Ready, sword? You do not have a sword. You are quite sure it would never occur to you to carry a sword or resort to violence under any circumstance. You will have to take a more diplomatic route with this fellow. Doff your hat to the attractive female. You doff so furiously you are in danger of starting a hat fire. Probably not the best idea around all this oil. Especially without any sort of flame suppressant handy. Flame suppressant? Barbasol? Huh. Interesting. I'm look that up. Retrieve both parcels? He cannot give them to you. They are illegal contraband, and if you wish to petition for their release, you must consult with his superiors. You show him the carved mini tablet. As he can plainly see, you have signed authorization to deliver one of the parcels. He gives you the envelope, but he retains the package. You quickly drop the envelope into the empty pexis. It is out of your hands now. The breeze will know where to take it. You follow the agent. You must not lose track of that parcel. Chase the man, you want your book. You have some questions for that guy, whoever he is. But the village is still burning. You've got to help these salamanders put out this fire. Save the lizards, they're not lizards. Okay, you just said they were salamanders. Anyway, thank goodness for your barbasol bomb. The cooling lather should work its magic in no time. Too bad, uh, non-canonically, I accidentally exploded that thing, so they would be shit out of luck if I were in control. Which is a good thing I'm not in control. John, why do you make the most amazing facial expressions? A derp? Oh god, how can shaving cream be so flammable? Yeah. yeah. It's compressed. Anything that you compress into a can is going to be quite flammable. Don't you ever read on it? You know, don't expose to certain temperatures above blah blah because it tends to go kaboom. You've made everything worse, John. And then a big gust of wind conveniently comes along and blows it all afire. It is really convenient. Must have been a really strong gust of wind. Wind doesn't always do that. Usually wind just fans the flames. You are their hero. The townspeople rejoice and are more than willing to give you all the credit. You suspect it is probably because they are not all that smart. I mean, they're salamanders. John, the uncarved tablet you retrieved. Do you still have it? Why, yes, it appears you do. Great, I would like you to carve something on it. You seem amenable to this request. It's a little wobbly on top of all these dancing lizards, though. Not that it matters, because you suck at drawing anyway. Rose, find your sprite. Your deceased pet. 
You wished to speak with him, did you not? Jasper Sprite is nowhere to be found. He was always a little cagey, even when he was alive. He's under the bed, darling. Is it not why you are here? Meow. There's the kitten. Someone is pestering you, but you're oblivious to the message because your laptop is buried under three inches of fucking yarn. Yep. There are footprints in the white sand. Oh, so that's sand, not snow. I was wondering about that. Follow them? Looks like the lead mount back to the mausoleum. Examine your pet's tomb. The mausoleum was destroyed by the explosion. The secret passage remains. You have no idea where it leads, but it sure isn't in the lab anymore. Enter. Ooh, it's seizurific. Jeez. Hmm, oh, leads to a pier. Looks like Mama Lalonda went somewhere. That's her, uh, martini bottle. It seems someone has recently untied a boat. Where they get a boat? A mother will do whatever is best for her children. Is that so? Become the mayor of Exile Town? <laughs> you build a bigger and better town to preside over. All expatriates are welcome, no matter what happened in the past, regardless of professional persuasion or metallurgical affiliation. You cut the town's ribbon with an official judicial bayonet, which is stuck inside a grenade, but you are kind of nervous about removing it. This should catch the eye of the tall, nice lady. The grumpy yellow guy thinks this is dumb. Aw. The two of you and your crushes. He thinks it is dumb because any town without proper militia is as good as conquered. As such, he prepares one begrudgingly. It's a dirty job, but someone must be charged with the defense of the innocent. Fondly regard Desert Knight. The stars twinkle over the freshly christened exile town. It is a beautiful evening, and the future is so full of promise you can't imagine what could possibly- Oh my god, a huge eggy-looking thing just appeared in the sky. Egg. Give Dave punch card of an eggy-looking sign. Okay, you do that, and then he makes a totem with it, and some other stuff happens, and then egg! Ooh, fresh from the cloaca. Oh man, awesome. It's awesome where you put that. I was so worried we were on the verge of getting some shit done. Durr, Dave, I was going to build some stairs up there. Durr! Well, where are they? You say there will be stairs, and yet I see no stairs. Gosh, I don't know. I guess I didn't find the time to make them because I kept getting punched in the face by robots and stuff. Sorry. Am I supposed to break that thing? Or hatch it? Or what? You sit on it, darling. I don't know. Also, what happened to all my shit? The stuff scattered all over the roof. Did you put it somewhere? Nope. I mean, not that I care. It was mostly a lot of useless garbage. A lot of mostly useless garbage. What was it doing out here? I was going to use it to fight my bro with, but I guess I forgot in the heat of battle. Also, he was too fast. Make the world's largest omelette. Caw -caw! Whoops, looks like that dumb idea isn't going to happen. A brainless feathery asshole swoops down and carries the egg away. Oh, yeah. It is a crow slash raven, after all, and ravens love shinies. Okay, so the egg is now in a nest made of shitty swords and soft puppet ass. So please advise. I think your sprite wants to hatch it. Ah. Do you think that'll take more than four hours? Hmm. I don't know. It looks like it's pretty warm where you are. It's as hot as the sizzle side of the steak. Maybe not too long then? I guess we'll find out. Maybe I should try to get it back and put it in the microwave. <laughs> Did she seriously just grab the microwave and chuck it? <laughs> Jade, you have so much attitude. <sighs> Deploy punch design X. Hmm. You can't. You will need some shale for that. Where did she get... How come she gets all that and they started off with, like, friggin' a couple of drops? <laughs> Check unknown objects? Hmm. 
jumper block extension, CD, punch card shunt, hollow pad, IntelliBeam laser station. Okay, some of these things we can deploy, but some things we don't have nearly enough crisps for. You mean the jumper block thing? No, no, we've got enough for that, but it's still pretty extensive. Wait, what? The thing costs 1000 for me. Yeah, me too, and we have 2000 to work with. Okay, uh, 1998 What? Man, I only got 200 to splash around with the Rose Rainbow World, what the hell? Oh, how much did Rose start with when she was playing with John? Hang on, I'll ask. Okay. She says 20. I guess we'll keep getting more with each servant client connection. Is that so, Jade? Yeah, so I guess you can buy everything now. No, I can't buy the holopad thingy in the IntelliBeam laser station. Okay, now I know you're making this shit up. Haha, <laughs> no, they're right there. They cost a fortune. Well, all I've got here is the design X, which I can't deploy because I don't have any purples. And the expensive as hell jumper thing and the cheap shunts with a... Which I assume to do dick all with without the jumpers to put them on. Oh, also this CD, which is 100, but I didn't drop it because it seemed like a stiff allocation of resources for now. Yeah, I've got that too. I will deploy it. So with each new connection in our player chain, I guess new weird deployables are introduced? Yes, I think that is how it works. When John connects with me, he'll probably get some cool new things, too. Hey, look, we're learning stuff. Deploy green and white compact disc. What does it do? What should I do with these beta copies? I don't really need them anymore. I suppose just hang on to them for a while. And then later, just do whatever you are naturally compelled to do with them. Wow, that was a weird answer, but okay. You take the beta and the CD. Deploy circuit board looking thing. Circuit board looking thingy. It was obviously labeled as the jumper block extension. It appears to be deployable only as an extension to the alchemeter. Looks like you're going to have to move it. Damn, it looks so nice up there. Sure it did. You expend another relatively affordable 100 build grist to relocate it. You then pay a setup fee of 1,000 build grist to deploy the jumper block extension. Uh, attempt to deploy capsulus capture log disk drive. Hmm. Handy. Oh, it's gonna be jumping in the corner. I should probably end this then. Again, the name of the thing was right there in plain sight. You deploy the punch card shunt for peanuts. Looks like a capture log card is supposed to fit in the slot. And what are we going to stick in the slot? Who knows? Probably something penis like.